We'd like to hear now from St. Peter's in Hazleton. Good evening, everybody. First of all, let me say on behalf of all the parishes here and especially St. Peter's, thank you to all the prospective rectors and those in the diocese for all your time to make this event happen. Uh, my name is Eric Vicinda. Also present with me here from our search committee is Roberta Brandon, Becky Poletsky, and Jeremy Bragg alone. They're, they're off camera here. Um, we at St. Peter's feel that this moment is one of the most crucial in all our history as we seek someone to lead and guide us in a new era of worship and community. Just one note, if you look at our parish profile and our presentation here today and feel it might be a little rough around the edges, understand that we see that too. Uh, we just engaged in the search process a little over three weeks ago and we've been operating at warp speed to try to make it here tonight. So please excuse anything that's not polished. Uh, we hope to at least convey our thoughts and intentions here tonight. Uh, I want to take a few moments to discuss why we are looking for a spiritual leader. Uh, one of the experiences that we've highlighted in our parish profile occurred almost by accident since our last rector left eight years ago. St. Peter's has been extremely fortunate to have had several supply priests in the interim that have made a significant contribution to our congregation and have shown us how important our rector is for our congregation, our community, and our future. What we need is what we've seen work well and grow our church in recent years. And that is someone who can reach each person in the pews every week with the gospel. Then reach each member of our parish in person and importantly, the young people. Also important is reaching the people who are too sick or infirm and cannot make it to our in-person worship. Finally, someone who can reach those who have never been part of our parish. I'd like to be clear on a point that might be a little concerning to anyone looking at a church plan at first. We're not looking for someone to step in and fix everything so we can just kick back on in the pews on a Sunday morning. In fact, in the last eight years, we've become a church with an efficiently working vestry that is able to operate our finances in the black year upon year. And we are a collection of committees, whether that be Sunday school, our worship committee, fundraising, we have outreach programs, Seeds of Hope, and more. We're also growing our use of technology, uh, such as updating the website, use of Facebook. Uh, we take online do donations now. And most importantly, during COVID, uh, we were able to perform Zoom services uh, for Sunday school, uh, our regular church service. Uh, we also had book studies. And while we're on the subject of COVID, it really became obvious to us then how important a spiritual leader would be to get through those tough times, not just for the church, but for our congregation as well. I'd like to say that we have a typical church dichotomy in that we have a traditional congregation, the one that's kind of missing all the 20 and 30 somethings, as I'm sure most other churches are also where this has the long term problem of loss through attrition and it doesn't give us the growth necessary uh, that we need. Like everyone else, we understand that we need young people to come to St. Peter's if we were to have any future. We also have parishioners who don't want to change anything about the church that they love so much. And we know that we have to work through these conflicting issues. Unique to St. Peter's is a large Latin community in the neighborhood that directly surrounds the church. One of our largest obstacles is breaking down that cultural barrier and joining the community in which we reside. A lot of creativity and work would eventually open the doors to a much larger and more diverse congregation. A little bit about who we are. We're a 162 year old church with an average size congregation that seats about 200 people. We do have a parish hall with a gathering area, a large kitchen, and a Sunday school classrooms. We also have a separate choir room. Uh, we do have a large rectory located right next to the church. It's five bedrooms and two and a half baths. It gives you kind of a size how big the, the rectory is. It does have a full attic, and it also has uh, the church office and the rector's office. Uh, we are located right in the middle of downtown Hazleton. We are well known in the community and we do have great relationships with the other churches in our communities. Uh, we've been sharing supply clergy with the Lutheran church and we've also had interfaith worship with them. And we also share our, uh, some of our outreach programs again, like Seeds of Hope. 
Uh, if you're interested, there is a lot more information about the Hazleton area. Um, check out our parish profile. We have a lot of links for the different uh, um, offerings that Hazleton area has, such as education, uh, health care, uh, the, the area recreation, and so forth. Um, but again, I encourage you to look at the parish profile for that information. In summary, um, we know that we need to change and embrace the future that fills the views of St. Peter's. We are seeking a part-time priest, and we are absolutely convinced that with the right priest and our existing willing parish of congregants and committees, we can grow into a large parish and become a leader in the community. I hope something that we said here, or you see here in our parish profile, piques your interest. Please don't hesitate to contact Roberta, our chair, myself, or anyone on the search committee. Our contact information is listed here, uh, or it, you can contact our office. That information is located in the parish profile. Again, thank you and God bless everybody. Thank you, Eric. Appreciate it very much.